in this video lecture we are covering one of the very important topic of physics which is known as hydrogen spectrum this one this is a very conceptual lecture you will conceptually understand what is hydrogen spectrum and what are the spectral lines or what are the electromagnetic radiations which may be produced whenever electron of a nitrogen atom jump from its higher energy level to a lower energy level so you will basically have a brief idea about the hydrogen spectrum and all the physical and as well as chemical phenomenon associated with hydrogen spectrum in order to understand hydrogen spectrum you need to understand what is an electromagnetic spectrum electromagnetic spectrum is the range of electromagnetic radiation produced whenever range of electromagnetic radiations produced whenever whenever electron jumps from electron jumps from higher energy levels jumps from higher energy levels to lower energy level to lower energy level so whenever electron jump from higher energy level to lower energy level then electron on the way they basically emit electromagnetic radiations and these electromagnetic radiations are in different wavelength range so the range of such electromagnetic radiation is known as electromagnetic spectrum suppose that we have this is in higher energy level and in this high energy level there is an electron present in it and suppose this is a lower energy level we can say it as a ground state so whenever electron from this high energy level jump into a lower energy level electron will emit electromagnetic radiations and these emitted electromagnetic radiation will have different types of wavelengths sorry it will have a different type of wavelength and the range of different types of wavelength or a range of energy associated with different types of wavelength whenever electron jump from higher energy level to a lower energy level is represented by electromagnetic spectrum the shortest radiation or electromagnetic radiation produced whenever electron jump from higher energy level to lower energy level is to date reported is gamma rays gamma rays have a shortest wavelength and after that there are x rays they have slightly bigger wavelength than the gamma rays and so the we can write the order of radiation of the on the basis of the increase in a wavelength as gamma rays have a shortest wavelength than x rays and similarly dear student x rays have a shorter wavelength than the ultraviolet radiations and similarly ultraviolet violet radiations have a shorter wavelength than a visible radiations and similarly visible radiations have a shorter wavelength 
then IR radiations and IR radiations have a shorter wavelength than a microwave radiations and microwaves have a shorter wavelength than a radio waves. So, dear student, the shortest wavelength produced when our electrons jump from higher energy level to a lower energy level uh, is, is generated generate usually a gamma rays. And after gamma rays, the wavelength is increases uh, for the radiations and the wavelength increases from gamma rays to x-rays and then to ultraviolet radiation and then to visible radiation and then to IR and microwaves and radio waves. So this is an increase in order of a wavelength of waves associated whenever electron jump from higher energy level to a lower energy level. Now, Dear student, please keep in mind that there are two types of electromagnetic spectrums. One type of electromagnetic spectrum is known as absorption spectrum. Absorption spectrum is a type of electromagnetic spectrum in which an electron at the F in a ground energy level absorb energy and it's when it's absorb energy it jump from lower energy level to a higher energy level so such type of spectrum is known as absorption spectrum the second type of electromagnetic spectrum which we will discuss in hydrogen spectrum is known as emission spectrum Emission spectrum is a type of a spectrum in which an electron from higher energy level jump into a lower energy level. And whenever electron jump from higher energy level to lower energy level, electron will release electromagnetic radiations. And these radiations will be in a form of a series and the range and series of the electromagnetic radiation is known as electromagnetic spectrum. So now let us discuss about the hydrogen spectrum. This rent hydrogen spectrum is a range of electromagnetic radiations produced in hydrogen atom whenever electron from higher energy level of an hydrogen atom jump into a lower energy level so whenever electron jump from higher energy level to a lower energy level in hydrogen atom, a series of electromagnetic radiation will be emitted by an electron of hydrogen atom. And these series of electromagnetic radiations are known as hydrogen spectrum. So we can write the definition of hydrogen spectrum as whenever Whenever electron from higher energy level, higher energy level, level or shell jump into lower energy level lower energy level energy level or shell then electron release a series of energy of energy 
known as as spectrum known as spectrum and if electron in hydrogen atom jump from higher energy level higher and shell or higher energy level to lower shell then a radiation emitted by electron in a hydrogen atom or series of radiation emitted by electron in hydrogen atom is known as hydrogen spectrum so dear student please note that there are five type of series of electromagnetic lines are produced in hydrogen spectrum and these five series of electromagnetic radiations produced in a hydrogen spectrum in hydrogen atom is known as Balmer series let me write them in order they are known as Lyman series Balmer series Boston series Bracket series and P fund series. Now, dear student, please keep in mind that the Balmer, the name of series like Lyman series, Balmer series, Passion series, Bracket series, or P fan series are on the basis of an electron jumping from higher energy level to first, second, third, fourth, and fifth energy level. So now let us discuss about the the Lyman Balmer Passion brackets and as well as P fan series. So this one, since you know that hydrogen atom has a nucleus and in a nucleus it has a one proton. Nucleus of hydrogen atom is positively charged. Around the nucleus of hydrogen atom there are energy levels and these energy levels are known as shell. The first energy level around a nucleus of an hydrogen atom is known as K shell or we can represent it by a one or first shell. There is there there could be an infinite number of energy level present around the hydrogen atom. Uh, a nucleus of a nitrogen atom suppose that this is a second energy level present around the hydrogen atom and this is a third energy level present around an hydrogen atom and suppose this is a fourth energy level present in a hydrogen atom and suppose this is a fifth energy level or shell present around a hydrogen atom so this is a second energy level this is third energy level or shell this is fourth energy level or shell this is fifth energy level or shell and so on six seven eight and so on the level 
around the nucleus of hydrogen atom. So electron in hydrogen atom may be present anywhere around these energy levels. So the first energy level have minimum energy. The energy of first energy level is around 13.6 electron volt. Energy of second energy level is this one minus 13.6. Second energy of second energy level is minus 3.4 electron volt. Energy of third energy level is around minus 1.5 electron volt. And similarly, energy of fourth energy level is around minus 0.9 electron volt. So this means that energy at first energy level is lower than the energy of second energy level. And similarly, energy of second energy level is lower than the energy of third energy level. And energy of third energy level is lower than the energy of fourth energy level. So as far as we go away from a nucleus of hydrogen atom, the energy of energy level increases. So electron, if present near or in the first energy level, it will have lower energy than the electron present in second energy level. And similarly, electron in second energy level will have lower energy than the electron present in third, fourth, fifth, and so on, or higher energy levels. So this means that whenever electron from high energy level, from any higher energy level, suppose from this energy level, jump into lower energy level, then electron will emit energy. Because electron of this second energy level is higher than the, uh, the electron energy at the first energy level. Similarly, Whenever electrons jump from third energy level into first energy level, the energy of third energy level is higher than the first energy level, then electron will basically emit electromagnetic radiations. Similarly, electron jumping from fourth energy level to first energy level, which is known as from third energy level to uh, first energy level, which is known as a ground state electron will emit electromagnetic radiations because the energy of third energy level is higher than the first or ground energy level. So, so keep in mind that the higher is the energy level, higher level higher is the energy level then shorter will be the shorter will be wavelength of the emitted photons so whenever the electron from higher energy level jump into a lower energy level it will emit a shorter wavelength of photon or shorter electromagnetic radiation so this means that electron jump from third energy level to first energy level it will emit a photon or electromagnetic radiation with very shorter wavelength than the electron jumping from second energy level to first energy level similarly the electron jumping from second energy level to uh, uh, similarly the electron jumping from third sorry this third energy level to first energy level will have a shorter wavelength than the electron jumping from second energy level to a lower first energy level. This means that electron jumping from higher energy level to first energy level will have a shorter wavelength. So, on the basis of the wavelength of electromagnetic radiations, The spectrum of hydrogen atom is divided into five series. First series 
our first series of electromagnetic radiation produced by hydrogen atom is known as Lehman series. Lehman series. Lemon series are the series of electromagnetic radiations which are produced whenever electrons from higher energy level from higher energy level higher energy level or shell jump into into first shell are first energy level whenever electron jump from any energy level into first shell then they will release a series of electromagnetic radiations and these series of electromagnetic radiations are this series of lines produced by electron jumping from higher energy level to first energy level is known as Lehman series. So in Lehman series, just please keep in mind that in assemble electron which is present in a ground state is represented by N1 and whereas the electron jumping from higher energy level are symbolized by a term N2. So this means that in Balmer series, uh, in Lemon series, since you know that electron are present in electron will jump into first energy level so n1 for electron which represent which is symbol for an uh, for uh, for an electron for uh, which is basically a symbol for electron uh, uh, to jump into energy level it is one because electron will jump into a first shell and whereas n2 is a symbol which represent the higher energy level from which electron will jump so in balmer series electron will jump from second energy level or they may jump from third energy level or fourth energy level or fifth energy levels okay So the student N1 for a Lemon series will be 1 which represent a first energy level in which electron will jump and whereas N2 will be 2, 3, 4, 5 and so on which represent the energy level from which electron will jump into a first energy level. So now whenever electron in balmer series jump from higher energy level to first energy level they release a wide range of electromagnetic radiation and the range of electromagnetic radiation in lemon series is in ultraviolet radiation range which is uv range so the series of radiation which are emitted in lemon series they are in uv range and as you know that the range of uv radiation is from 100 nanometer to 400 nanometer so dear student 100 to 4 the series of 100 to 400 nanometer a range of electromagnetic radiations will be produced in a Lyman series of hydrogen atom. So if in a simple word I conclude Lyman series is a series of electromagnetic radiations which are produced whenever electron from any higher energy level jump into first energy level or ground state of hydrogen atom. The range of a wavelength of radiation produced in a lemon series of hydrogen atom is around 
100 nanometer to 400 nanometer which is basically a ultraviolet radiation range so it is the second type of electromagnetic radiation produced in a hydrogen spectrum are known as Balmer series This one, what do you think? What is Balmer series? Balmer series are the series of electromagnetic radiations, electromagnetic radiations, which are produced, produced whenever electron from higher energy level, whenever electron from higher energy level higher energy level or shell jump into lower jump into second energy level So, in case of hydrogen atom, electron will jump from higher energy level into higher energy level into second energy level of hydrogen atom. So, whenever electron from higher energy level jump into second energy level of hydrogen atom they will emit a series of electromagnetic radiations and these series of electromagnetic radiations are known as balmer series So, we can schematically represent a Baller Balmer series of electromagnetic radiations by diagram. Let me clean this. Since you know that hydrogen atom, dear student, it has a nucleus, and in nucleus of hydrogen atom, there is a proton. So there is a one proton, so nucleus hydrogen atom is positively charged. Around the nucleus atom, there are energy level, and these energy levels are known as shell. So this is a schematic representation of energy level present around the hydrogen, around the nucleus of hydrogen atom. So, this is first energy level, this is second energy level, this is third energy level, this is fourth energy level, this is fifth energy level, and so on. So now, in case of Balmer series, electron will jump from higher energy level into a second energy level. So this third energy level is higher energy level. Electron may jump from third energy level into a second energy level similarly electron may jump from fourth energy level into a second energy level and similarly electron may jump from fifth energy level into a second energy level so whenever electron jump from these higher a higher energy level into second energy level these electron will emit electromagnetic radiation or these electrons will emit a series of electromagnetic radiations and these electromagnetic radiation will have energy and the series of electromagnetic radiations are basically known such series of electromagnetic radiations are known as Balmer's series So, student, in case of Balmer series, N1 is equal to 2, which represent an 
energy level in which electron will jump and whereas n2 will be higher energy levels there could be three four five six and so on so the wavelength associated with balmer series is visible wavelength lambda is in a range of visible region and the wavelength of balmer series in hydrogen atom is in a range of 380 nanometer to 700 nanometer which is a wavelength of a visible electromagnetic radiation so this is all about a balmer series in balmer series electron from higher energy level will jump into a second energy level and during the jump of electron from any higher energy level into a second energy level a series of electromagnetic radiations will be produced and these series of electromagnetic radiations are known as balmer series then third type of series of electromagnetic radiation that could be produced by hydrogen spectrum uh, could be produced by hydrogen atom are known as passion series passion series are the series of electromagnetic line whenever electron from any energy level or electron from any higher energy level jump into third energy level higher energy level level into third energy level or third shell then a series of radiation produced are known as Pastian series or Pastian lines or Pastian electromagnetic radiations so in Pastian series electron will jump from any higher energy level suppose that they jump from this fourth energy level into a third energy level or they jump from fifth energy level into a third energy level or they jump from any sixth energy level into a third energy level so whenever they jump from a higher energy level into a third energy level these electron will produce electromagnetic radiation or series of electromagnetic radiations and these series of electromagnetic radiations are known as Pastian series or Pastian electromagnetic rays. The range of Pastian radiations or Pastian series is in near infrared radiation range. And as you know that the wavelength of near infrared radiation is around 700 nanometer to 2500 nanometer so radiations in the range of 700 a series of radiation in a range of 700 to 2500 nanometer will be produced by hydrogen atom whenever electron jump from higher energy level into a third energy level or into third shell so this means that n1 for passion series will be three which basically indicate an energy level in which electron will jump and whereas n2 is represent an energy level from which electron will jump into third energy level this energy level will be four five six and so on so this means that passion series is a series of electromagnetic radiation which are produced in hydrogen atom whenever which are generated by hydrogen atom whenever electron from any higher energy level jump into third energy level so the fourth series of electromagnetic radiation which could be produced by hydrogen atom is known as bracket series 
Bracket series are the series of electromagnetic radiations which are produced whenever an electron from higher energy level from any higher energy level higher level or shell jump into a fourth energy level of hydrogen atom or fourth shell of hydrogen atom. So whenever electron from higher energy level, suppose this is a higher energy level, any higher energy level, and this is a fourth energy level or fourth shell, whenever electron jump from this higher energy level into the fourth energy level, since the energy of electron at higher energy level is high, so whenever it jump from higher energy level to a lower fourth energy level then electron will emit electromagnetic radiations in the form of a series of a spectrum known as bracket series bracket series So in a bracket series, electron from any higher energy level, suppose from this energy level, will jump into fourth energy level or suppose sixth energy level electron jump into fourth energy level or suppose this is the seventh energy level electron jump from seven into a fourth energy level. In this way, electron jumping from higher energy level to a fourth energy level will release a series of electromagnetic radiations. And these series of electromagnetic radiations are known as bracket series. N1 for bracket series is 4, which is basically represent a shell or energy level in which electron from higher energy level will jump. And whereas N2 for bracket series will be 5, 6, 7, and so on. So, we find the wavelength produced by the series of electromagnetic radiation in electromagnetic in a bracket series will be in a range of mid infrared radiations. Our wavelength of the bracket series in an hydrogen atom will be in a range of 3000 nanometer to 25000 nanometers. So if I conclude bracket series are the series of electromagnetic radiations which are produced whenever electron in hydrogen atom jump from any higher energy level to fourth energy level or to fourth shell. The radiations emitted in a bracket series are in the range of 3000 nanometer to 25000 nanometer which is a range of mid infrared radiations. Fifth series of electromagnetic radiation produced by hydrogen atom is known as P fund series or P fund electromagnetic radiations or P fund electromagnetic lines. So P fund electromagnetic series of radiations are produced in hydrogen atom whenever electron from any higher level, higher energy level, jump into fifth energy level of an atom, fifth energy level or fifth shell of hydrogen atom. So whenever electron from any higher energy level, suppose this is higher level or higher shell, higher shell, and whenever electron from this higher shell jump into suppose into lower fifth shell, suppose this is an electron, an electron jump from this higher energy level into this fifth shell, 
then electron will in 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 uh, in a process of jumping from high energy to lower energy level electron will emit electromagnetic radiations and the series of electromagnetic radiation produced whenever electron jump from higher energy level to fifth energy level is known as p fund series of electromagnetic radiation we can represent it as suppose the, as you know that this is a fifth energy level and whenever suppose we have electron in a sixth energy level and electron jump into a fifth energy level and similarly electron from any other higher energy level suppose this is seven energy level electron jump into a fifth energy level so electron jumping from the these higher energy level into a fifth energy level will basically produce a series of electromagnetic radiations and these series of electromagnetic radiations are known as p fund series p fund series listen please keep in mind that the range of energy is of p fund series is uh, far infrared radiations or fir and the wavelength of far infrared radiation is more than 25000 nanometer so these are the five types of infrared series of infrared radiation uh, a series of electromagnetic radiation which will be produced in hydrogen atom whenever electron jump from higher energy level to lower energy level of the hydrogen atom these series are uh, lyman series balmer series Poisson series bracket series and p fund series of electromagnetic radiations so now this will let us conclude uh, the uh, uh, now, dear student, let us discuss about the energies of the series of electromagnetic radiations produced in hydrogen atom. The energy of Balmer series, since you know that Balmer series, uh, the energy of Balmer series will be more than uh, energy of Lyman series. Sorry, it will be more than Balmer series. The reason is that in in Lehman series electron jump from any higher energy level to first energy level and similarly in Balmer series electron jump from uh, any higher energy level to second energy level so electron uh, jumping from any higher energy level to first energy level will have higher energy on the release of energy than electron jumping from any higher energy level to second energy level similarly the energy of Poisson series will be less than the Balmer series because electron in Poisson series will jump from any higher energy level to third energy level rather than second energy level. Similarly, energy of bracket series will be less. Bracket series will be less than the energy of Poisson series. The reason is that in bracket series, electron will jump from any energy, higher energy level to fourth energy level. And similarly, energy of P fund series will be less than the energy of bracket series. So this is basically a order of the energy of Lehman, Balmer, Poisson and bracket series of electromagnetic radiation produced in hydrogen atom. Now, dear student, please keep in mind that as you know that energy is equal to E is equal to H into nu. And as you know that nu is inversely proportional to 1 over lambda. So we will get E is equal to HC divided by lambda. So high, the series which have higher energy level it will have a lower or shorter wavelength this means that lemon series wavelength of radiation produced in lemon series will have shorter wavelength than a radiation produced in a balmer series and similarly they will have shorter wavelength than the radiation produced in Poisson series and similarly they will have shorter wavelength than radiation in a bracket series 
and similarly they will have shorter wavelength than the radiation produced in a p fund series so now this will let us conclude the hydrogen spectrum hydrogen spectrum is a range of electromagnetic radiation produced whenever electrons jump from higher energy level into lower energy level of the hydrogen atom or hydrogen spectrum are electromagnetic radiations which are produced whenever electrons jump from higher energy shell into a lower energy shell five different types of series of lines are usually produced in hydrogen spectrum and these series of lines are Lyman series Balmer series Poisson series bracket series and p series of electromagnetic radiations. The student, please keep in mind that energy of Lemon series is more than the energy of Balmer series, Poisson series, Bracket series, and Piffen series of electromagnetic radiation. Similarly, the wavelength of Lemon series is very shorter than this than the electromagnetic radiation uh, of the Balmer series, Poisson series bracket series and p fund series so this friend this is all about the hydrogen spectrum so thank you for watching this lecture